Hello folks, welcome back to the show here on Flick Direct, where I give you all the latest that happened in entertainment news throughout the week, and then I give you guys my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Austin Putnam, so let's just jump into the first story of this week, and that apparently the Snyder Cut exists for Justice League. So I don't know how well back this goes. I know it's been a while since the original release of Justice League, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Justice League, the original cut, was a film that I enjoyed. Was it a very bumpy movie? Yes, but it was a bumpy ride that, for the most part, I enjoyed. But as you all probably know, there was a lot of behind-the-scenes drama. Zack Snyder left the project after his daughter, Autumn, unfortunately committed suicide, leaving him to spend time with his family. And as a result, Joss Whedon came in for the reshoots to not only direct but also write some new things. And Justice League honestly came off more as a Joss Whedon film more than a Zack Snyder film. I mean, it had the look of a Zack Snyder film. But when you look at that film, or at least when I look at that film, I feel like it feels more like something that Joss Whedon would have made. And there was a lot of speculation that there was a cut made by Zack Snyder, or I mean, edited together by Zack Snyder. There was a bunch of rumors. And much recently, actually a couple of days ago, Zack Snyder, as we all know, there have been hosting of watch parties since the whole COVID quarantine. Just a couple of days ago, Zack Snyder hosted a watch party for Man of Steel on Vero, and I believe it was after the watch party. I didn't attend, so I don't know exactly what happened, but all I know is that a couple of fans came on to his little watch party. Henry Cavill, Superman himself, joined him, and one of the fans said, okay, I need to know, is there a Snyder cut for Justice League? And Zack said, well, Henry, should we show them? And he, and he said, yes, we should. And it turns out that there actually is a Snyder Cut for Justice League. And not only is there a Snyder Cut of Justice League, but it will be officially released on HBO streaming service, HBO Max, next year. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I have two mindsets going on right here. The first mindset being that I think it's awesome that Zack Snyder will be able to actually showcase his vision for Justice League. I actually do want to see the Snyder Cut, and I remember that there was like, it was like a half and half of people saying, whoa, there is no Snyder Cut of Justice League, and there was others saying, yes, there is a Snyder Cut, and I, and if I actually remember correctly, I was on the side that said there was no Snyder Cut, so I was proven wrong. But for somebody who did enjoy the original release of Justice League, I am curious to see Zack Snyder's actual complete vision of Justice League. However, at the same time, I hope this doesn't start a trend of directors who didn't get to showcase their vision of a movie in theaters, and as a result, we're seeing more director's cuts. I mean, there's a reason why for home video, they show more director's cuts. I mean, director's cuts for home video aren't very common but i will say that there is a reason why director's cuts don't often make it into the theater mainly because director's cuts are much much longer than the original version i mean don't get me wrong i love lord of the rings i love all three versions and the extended edition of fellowship of the ring why i love fellowship of the ring is a bit too long however the extended version aka the director's cut of return of the king is one of the greatest films I've ever seen. That film is like four hours and 25 minutes, but it's a four and 25 minute film I would not skip a minute of. And supposedly from what I've been hearing, the director's cut, Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League is a four hour long cut. I don't know for certain, but all I know is that his director's cut was much longer than the, I think the two hour long original version of Justice League. I do hope that this does not start a new trend of people hassling studios, directors, producers, or whoever in the studio system to get the original release of a movie shown. I mean, it just, I hope that doesn't start something new. So coming on to our second to final news story of the week, we got some updates on the Avatar sequels. So as we all know, due to the coronavirus pandemic, many productions have ceased shooting, of course, because I guarantee that people on that set don't want to risk other safety, whether they're getting sick or just, you know, just, well, getting sick, really. And they will start resuming, and apparently one of those shoots to start shooting soon is Avatar 2, to which, from I've been hearing, I saw this on an article, that Avatar 2 will restart shooting, well, not restart, because I know they've got a lot of shooting done. From what I know, Avatar 2 will start to resume shooting as early as next week, and not just that... But we have the release of not only Avatar 2, but Avatars 3, 4, and 5. It's crazy to think that Avatar, the original, came out in 2009, and 
James Cameron has spent what the next two decades almost at this point I really wish he would work on something else in the meantime but anyway so we have re new release dates for the Avatar sequels and the release dates are so starting with Avatar 2 Avatar 2 will be released on December 17th 2021 and then Avatar 3 will be released on December 22nd 2023 Avatar 4 will be released December 19th 2025 and then the final Avatar sequel will be released December 17th, 2027. I would really rather want James Cameron to focus on something else. I mean, Avatar made a lot of money and made oh, almost $3 billion for a reason. I mean, it was a movie that no one had ever seen before. But at this point, knowing how long it's taken to make Avatar 2 alone, I mean, who out there really is excited for Avatar 2 minus the new visual effects breakthrough they, that they have made, especially when it comes to underwater visual effects, which I am curious to see. But come on, let's be real here. Who here is actually looking forward to the Avatar sequels? I mean, seriously. But still, James Cameron, let's see what you've got for the Avatar sequels. And moving on to our final news story of the week, we got some trailer news in that the newest trailer for Christopher Nolan's set has dropped, and I have not seen it, only because I don't need to see any more footage. I've seen the teaser trailer and I saw the six minute prologue before I saw The Rise of Skywalker to which I absolutely loved what I saw from that footage. I mean, it looked absolutely amazing, especially the footage quality and the score. My God, I can't wait to hear Loic Grants and the rest of his score. It sounded amazing. But really, other than that, from what I've been hearing from closest friends or the people who I work with, that the trailer looks absolutely amazing. I mean, from what I've been hearing for the most part, for most people, they love the trailer, but then there are some that said, yeah, this just looks okay, but at the same time, Christopher Nolan is known for not showcasing specific plot details in his trailers, I mean, because again, who wants to get spoiled? However, there was one particular thing that caught my eye, so as we all know, Tenet is being scheduled to release in July, I believe mid-July, I'll put the actual release date right here, and at the end of the trailer, from what I saw, now, I didn't see the actual trailer, but I saw this specific part, it says at the end of the trailer, coming to theaters to which raises a lot of speculation to is tonight actually going to come out in july are they locked to the release date are they going to stay in place or is christopher nolan trying to figure out something new just in case things are starting to ease up but still things are still not quite normal vaccines are being tested but still I can understand the reservations that people may hold about going to the movies right now. But yes, while I have heard that many people are looking forward to Tenet and that the new trailer looks amazing, at the same time, I just wonder if Tenet is actually going to come out in July or if it's going to be delayed. Alrighty guys, and that is going to wrap it up for this week's show. Like I mentioned before, a much more quick show this week, but anyways, please comment on and let us know below how do you guys all feel about the Snyder Cut of Justice League actually existing? Are you all really excited to see Zack Snyder's complete vision of the film when it comes to HBO Max next year. Also, when it comes to the Avatar sequels, do you guys wish that James Cameron would work on something else at this point, or are you really excited to see the sequels? And finally, when it comes to the trailer of tonight, did you guys see it? What did you think of it? And do you think that it will stick to its release date, or will it be delayed? Let us know below. I hope you all enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button. Also, share this video and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell whenever a new video from us goes live. If you guys would like to see any of our previous two shows, please click on the right there or there. And of course, until next week's show, we will see you all next week. Have a great week. Stay safe. We'll see you guys next week.